Well, what's up, Junkyard Crew, man? We on the way home. About to get a little work in in the, in the driveway today, man. Today, I think we're going to be messing with the box Chevy. Um, K5, I believe, is cool. I haven't seen anything under the truck, but yet again, I haven't really uh, been up under there. But I would notice right away because that shit get all over my damn driveway. But uh, we should be good to go on a K5 now. I got to hit the welder up, um, try to get me a little appointment, but... I really can't schedule too much of anything right now until I actually get the plate uh, for the frame. And I try to make it easiest as possible for Buddy, man. I'll take the wheel off, take all that junk off so he has enough workspace or, you know, kind of shit, whatever he got to do, man. And we'll be in the game. Okay, I'm just so ready to drive the K5 at this point, man. I don't even know why. It just sounds so good and so comfortable. I'm, ready to sit up high in the sky, so that'll be all good. Everybody getting on. What the hell's going on? But, uh, we'll holler at y'all when we get back to the driveway, man. Mess with this damn box Chevy. And, uh, we'll go from there. I might make a little junkyard run by the house today just to see what they got. Take a little look. Um, but yeah, man, right now I'm trying to think what's moving and grooving. Parts is selling, rims are selling, the cars, they still, uh, they sitting for a little bit. So right now, I think a lot of people are just focusing on getting their shit together instead of picking up more projects. And when you pick up a project, man, you really got to have space for the project to sit. Because uh, otherwise, it's going to cost you money for storage, cost you money if they told, cost you money you get a ticket. So right now, if you ain't got the space, I wouldn't say pick shit up right now, man. Wait, let them let them cars sit, man. And we'll see who really want to sell this shit. But man, we'll holler at y'all when we get back to the yard, man. Gotta pay attention to this part of traffic. But you know, I, I make no traffic. Uh, but yeah, man, we'll holler at y'all here in a few, man. Caprice rolling good, heat on, feeling good. And uh, shit, we on the way with it. Well, we're all tightened down, man. We got a little bit of cooling in there. We got oil. Ah, uh, distributor caps tight. Woo, moment of truth, huh? Only moment but to do it. Let's see what it does. Hopefully this battery has enough juice. I was gonna have to let that much sit for a little bit. It should be nice and charged up. Right, looks like we got some power. Let's see, let's see. Oh, all right. Well, let me let the battery charge for a little bit longer. Uh, but we do got some power. We hear some stuff moving around. Let me get my oh good charger. Well, let me get the big charger, man. Hook that thing up for a little bit. I'll let it charge for shit. I might just go take a nap and let it charge. But that's a, a cool sign, I'm going to say. Um, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, it just starts right up, man. Do a little a little messing with the distributor, and we good to go. Um, yeah, after I put this on the charger, we'll go get the keys to the K5. Crank that thing up for a second. And... Uh, Shit, we'll wait for the Caprice battery to be charged and we will go from there. And I gotta see what I'm up. Man, I might crawl up under here and take a look at this one too. So we'll see. I might just jack up the Monte Carlo and see what we got going on. Uh, why are you stuck? Oh, there we go. Oh, still stuck. What's going on? Alright. And I also need to charge this Yukon battery up too. Because hopefully by the end of the week I'm, I'm messing with that. Always something to do. Always, always. Shit, we might start up the Elko today too. See what we we doing with that thing. But but I am really ready to drive it. I need to get on the ball, finding my 
my damn parts. I just got it on the back burner at the moment. Uh, but I still want to at least drive the car to the snows or something like that. Damn, with my extension cord. And I was cleaning out my tool bag and stuff, man. I'm tired of carrying all these tools around to the junkyard, and I don't use half of them. So I need to get me a better uh, a better plan of when I do go of what tools I take. Like, that little bag was a breeze, had everything I needed, and I was uh, in and out. So that's how I want to continue it. Oh, here it goes. But uh, let me get plugged in. See if we can get this raggly box on the road. Because I am ready to get this car out of my garage. We'll park the bubble in here. Have my granny whips parked next to each other. And I'm going to drive the hell out of this thing. So this in the K5. I should be bumper grilled up for the uh, winter time. All right, cool. So we're going to let that charge for a second. Um, I'm going to pick up some of this junk I got around here. Got to start making room because if this car is up and running, this shit is getting up out of here. Um, and we're going to try to get that in traffic as soon as possible. Um, and hopefully, uh, shit, I, man, I love driving boxes, man. I drove, I drove Bonnie J for at least... Shit, probably like, shit, three years straight, I think. Two and a half, three years straight. Well, I can't say straight, but pretty much. I was in between two cars, but this was my main thugger for a while. Um, I had parked the Cadillac and just was driving this thing, man. It still got the damn oh, snow tires on it, man. So this car made it through the winters and all that good stuff. So this in the Cadillac. So I'm I'm cool with the old schools being faithful to you in the snowstorm. It just takes you a little bit longer to get there and, you gotta worry about other people sliding into your shit, so you know you always gotta be a head on a swivel when you're riding in the snow. But oh well. Um, sheesh, yeah, I'm gonna just let this sit. I'm gonna run and go get the keys to the other cars, and uh, we'll crank those up while we wait for it to charge. And I'm gonna get some of this junk out of my way real quick. Boy, the block is hot, man. What they got going on? I don't know. I'm on my business. I got the whole shit blocked off, but. Get the hell out your boy after his nap, man. I said, what the fuck's going on? But uh, let's finally see if this battery's charged on this box, if it'll crank over or whatnot. So we probably gotta time it now. Golly. So it should crank right up after we uh we're gonna take that distributor back off and shit. I should wiggle it real quick. Oh, let's see. Switch 
All right, yeah, so that's uh, that's gonna be the beef right now. This damn timing. But I don't hear nothing leaking or nothing, so that's cool. Um. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave this at. I'm not gonna do too much. I might, I, man. I'm not messing with it till tomorrow. But we'll get the damn uh, timing timing set, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah, I don't know. That battery still seems kind of weak, but but it should be good to go. So yeah, nothing crazy, man. Oh damn box. Um, but yeah, man, dropping that distributor in. If you don't drop it in exactly how you took it out, man, that bitch is just gonna crank and crank and crank forever. So once we set the timing, it should room jump right up and be good to go. Um, I ain't even started none of these other whips today. Shit, we might we might come back and try to crank something up, but. If not, that's it, man. Colorado got whips. Y'all know how we coming, man. We need to get this raggly box motor running. And uh, we should be good to go. So let's see what we got to make happen today. Start these uh, whips up for y'all today. So let's see what we got for the Elko, man. Came under here, I said, what the fuck? I seen some coolant, I said, oh, please don't tell me my water pump gaskets was wrong, but this ain't hooked up all the way. Where my damn pliers at? Oh, so let me get this on here too. Here, crank this truck up real quick.
car, bro. You can cut it off. Ouch. So yeah, that's that's smooth. Um, so we'll see if anything else uh, comes up out of it. But I'm pretty sure we're good. We still need to add some more transmission fluid. That wasn't enough. So I'll go get another one of those uh, tomorrow. We'll put the rest in and recheck the level. Um, but other than that, man, it looks pretty good. I'm not seeing no issues with this thing. Um, and y'all always know the big dog good. Let me mess with this distributor a little bit, man. I said I wasn't, but once I get this far, I want to keep going. So let me get this thing back up out of here, see if I can get it in the right spot. Um, I'll show y'all what I do when I get down there and stuff. But till then, man, um, shit. We'll come back when something, something gets uh, sounding like these other two whips. So.